Welcome to Threadline Stadium here in New York, home of the Tyrants. Well, they really cleaned up Times Square, huh? I kind of miss the sea of wandering zombies and the stench of the open zombie landfills. And they had this nice all-you-could-shoot zombies in a barrel arcade, I remember. Yeah, that was in the good old days, Grim. Now it's just a tourist attraction, peep shows, and organized crime. <laughs> And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the New York Tyrants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. It's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Tackle. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and six. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. <laughs> And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. He had it for a 
a second there. Third down and, well, good luck. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember. Perfect pass and the score! Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll bring up second and one. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. He refuses to go. He passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and nine. That's a passing catch for no gain. Then how is it a pass? Third down and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. First down and five.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Running on oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Nice pickup for six yards. <sighs> and that'll be second down and four. First down to seven. And they run it for a couple of yards. Second down and five. We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sitters then. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. Trust me, very different. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Pop? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And 
It's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the ten. Touchdown! Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. <laughs> First down an inch in inches. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and six. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. First down to seven. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, wish they could pee for me, too. The defense pulled within the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? First and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down in a mile. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times. I the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And that'll be second down and four. Starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat for. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now, like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And that'll bring up third and one. It's a zap attack. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. It's a touchdown. Yeah. 
And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when you're not young. Second down and long. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Rim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? That was a good throw, assuming he was aiming for the ground. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Okay, no, man, I can't. I can The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. With a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's go. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. A 
Russian hit that one. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down in the sliver. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch, and he turns it on the afterburner. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree. The 20. He's at the 10. Goal! If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref dirty trick. First down in less than a yard. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward is now. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Roid Rage ignites that deep-down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a Roid Rage with a vodka chase. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And here comes the extra point attempt. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Gets a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here.
And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Second and three. that joke Grim. and into the end zone for a touchdown once he got his hands on that pass he was off to the races <laughs> well this should be an easy chip shot extra point but you never know with kickers <laughs> Straight through the uprights. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was and he just slipped away like a greased pig. Crushed. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. They call the work speed dirty brick. He's in like bricks and balls. He is loose and headed for the end zone. He could go all the way. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Look.
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! I'm a hell of a I'm a hell of And that'll bring up second and one. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. And that'll bring up second and one. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And it's first and ten. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Man, what a hit that 
that was. The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Uh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Try and he runs it in for the touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Hey, man. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. I got... Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. Third down in forever. The Tyrants defeat their opposition and walk away triumphant. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Oh, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable brickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Hey, okay. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.